For decades, we had a neat, orderly story for how the first stars and galaxies flickered into existence. We thought we had the timeline figured out. Turns out, we were wrong. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just taking pretty pictures. It's ripping up the textbook on cosmic history. What it's finding in the deepest, darkest corners of space is challenging everything we thought we knew about the dawn of time. From galaxies that have no business existing to the invisible threads holding the cosmos together, we're coming face to face with secrets we never thought we'd uncover. The first mystery takes us to the absolute darkness of the cosmic dawn. Our long-held theories predicted that the first galaxies would be small, faint, and take a good long while to get organized. But Webb has stared into that darkness and found cosmic monsters. It has discovered galaxies that are far too massive and bright to exist so early in the universe. According to our models, there just shouldn't have been enough time for them to form. This isn't just a tiny error in the math. One galaxy, called Moem Z14, has been confirmed to exist just 280 million years after the Big Bang, making it the most distant object humanity has ever seen. Finding something this significant so early on challenges the very foundations of cosmology. And it gets weirder. When researchers looked at the shapes of these early galaxies, they stumbled upon another shock. Instead of being the round, frisbee-like galaxies we see today, a huge number of them were long and thin. Scientists have nicknamed them pool noodles or surfboards. This discovery suggests that a huge portion, as much as 50 to 80 percent, of early galaxies were flat and stretched out, a shape that's incredibly rare in our corner of the universe. It means our own Milky Way might have once looked more like a cosmic surfboard than the grand spiral it is today. We've long theorized that galaxies aren't just sprinkled randomly across space. The idea was that they are connected by a huge invisible structure of gas and dark matter, the cosmic web. For years, this was just a theory, the unseen skeleton of the universe. But Webb has finally given us our first good look at it. Astronomers pointed the telescope at a patch of sky from just 830 million years after the Big Bang. And there it was, a three million light year long, thread-like chain of 10 galaxies, all lined up perfectly. This cosmic filament is anchored by a brilliant quasar, which is a galaxy with a supermassive black hole at its center that's actively chowing down. It's the earliest, most direct proof we have of this enormous structure, showing us how the universe first started to organize itself. We are literally watching the cosmic blueprint get drawn, laying the groundwork for the massive galaxy clusters we see today. And believe me, this is just the beginning. If you want to keep up with how Webb is breaking cosmology, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, because the universe is only getting stranger. What's lurking inside these impossible galaxies? Another profound mystery. The black holes at their centers. Just like the galaxies they call home, these black holes are way too big, way too early. Webb has found that supermassive black holes weren't just there from the start, but were actively shaping their galaxies from the get-go. In a jaw-dropping discovery, Webb spotted the most distant black hole merger ever seen. The system, known as ZS7, shows two galaxies and their central black holes smashing into each other when the universe was only 740 million years old. One of these black holes already has a mass 50 million times that of our sun. The only way to explain this kind of rapid growth is through constant violent mergers like this one a process that was far more common back then than we ever imagined. These observations suggest that galaxies and their black holes grew up together, locked in a chaotic dance that sculpted the cosmos, while Webb is busy rewriting the history of the universe. It's also bringing worlds much closer to home into stunning focus. For the first time, Webb used its incredible optics to take a direct picture of a brand new exoplanet, the planet named TWA-7b is a world about the mass of Saturn, orbiting a young star 111 light years away. This is a huge deal. Most exoplanets are found indirectly, usually by watching for the dip in starlight as they cross in front of their star. But Webb used a special tool called a coronagraph, which is basically a high-tech star blocker. It dims the overwhelming glare of the host star, allowing the faint glow of the planet itself to pop into view. TWA-7b was spotted inside a gap in its star's dusty debris disk, giving us a live-action snapshot of a planet actively carving out its own solar system as it forms. 
It's like looking at a planetary construction site and gives us incredible clues into how our own solar system might have been born. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to answer our oldest questions. Instead, it's handed us a thrilling new list of mysteries. We're seeing galaxies that are too big, black holes that grew too fast, and cosmic structures we'd only ever dreamed of. The neat, tidy story of the universe has been tossed out, replaced by a narrative that's more complex, more chaotic, and frankly, a lot more exciting. Every image Webb sends back isn't just a picture. It's a new page in a story we're just beginning to read, reminding us that the best secrets of the cosmos are still out there, waiting to be discovered.